Hey guys, what's up? It's Captain SNES here, and today is this is my 300th video. Just gonna get that out there. Now today's story is about something that happened just yesterday, Friday the 18th. Uh, yeah, just like three days before you were watching this video. And let's say there's nine periods in my school. Okay, I'm just trying to give a little bit of background here. There's nine periods throughout the day. I was in 8th period, I asked someone if we were going to have our normal math teacher because she was out the past two days. And this person said, yeah, we were. And then I'll, like, I got a bad feeling right away, a bad feeling about it. So we get into her class, halfway through the class, she's trying to explain a question from a student, like trying to figure out a way to explain it. And she says, uh, well, let's say I'm not a, and then I said, person under my breath and then she got triggered she said excuse me what did you say and I said person and then she said oh okay and then she goes out of the classroom and starts crying and I was like okay what did I just do here I literally said the word person and she got mad and everybody's looking at me in the room like what just happened and then there's this one girl that's like, you can't just say random words, and I'm like, okay, well, every sentence you speak to somebody could trigger them, so what is your point here? But I'm sitting there trying to rationalize what just happened. Now, a couple days before this, she told me if I kept talking in class, I would get a detention, so I thought, like, oh, I just talked, that, like, that set her over the edge. She's gonna go get, like, a detention slip or something for me. But no, she comes back in the room, and she's like, so is there anything you have to say? And I said, uh, no, because I could not rationalize why she was mad. I knew that she was mad, but since I couldn't rationalize it, I couldn't rationalize why I should say sorry to her for something she couldn't even tell me what happened. She said, oh, well, in that case, you can see me after class. So the rest of class, I am completely silent. I do not say a single thing. I do not raise my hand. I do nothing. No participation in the class whatsoever except for writing down a couple problems that she's trying to explain. So the end of class rolls around and a bunch of people are crowded around me. The announcements have just come on and people are waiting to leave and they come over to me and they're like, yo, what just happened? And like, what happened? And I was like, honestly, I know as much as you do right here because I didn't say anything that I think would have upset her and everybody else was like, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know what just happened here. And one of the kids thought that I swore at the teacher and that maybe that's what she heard, but I it wasn't. So we're just all sitting there wondering what happened. And then she calls me up to the front of the classroom. Lewis, come up to the front of the classroom and please speak to me. I said, all right. And then stand up, go over to her. Bell rang. People are leaving class. She's like, so when I asked you if you had anything to say to me, I was asking for a public apology, and I said, well, I don't see why why I should. What did I do? She said, when I was trying to explain to person A, uh, if like this was that and this problem and that was that, what is the number one or whatever? I, I think that's sort of how it was. She's like, I was trying to explain that to him and giving him an example, and I said, yeah, I get that, and you said, I am not A, and then... I, the first thing that popped into my mind was person. And she said, that has nothing to do with my class and you should not talk like that in my class. And I said, it was merely a suggestion. And she's like, well, you have your own filter and you don't know how other people take it. So I took it as, I mean nothing. I am worthless. I'm not a person. I said, you should be, I, I said back to her, I thought you were smart enough to realize that everyone's a person no matter what somebody says. And then she got super triggered, okay? Savage, your boy Savage Lewis up in here. So she kept going on and on about how if I realized something was wrong that I should apologize even if I don't know what it's for, which, okay, I can rationalize that. I can rationalize why I should say sorry for something that I don't know what I did, but I realized that it hurt someone's feelings. But I just didn't find it right because I had no idea why. And she got triggered over the word person i have no idea why they just like now i know why but there's no reason if somebody d says you're not a person that you should run out of the classroom like that especially when you're a grown adult 
and you are a teacher too, just in the middle of class. So um, that was my experience with the triggered teacher. Afterwards, she just told me there is uh, no way I'm getting to you and you're just gonna walk out of this classroom and think, what the heck just happened? That was weird and go on with your day. And I said, yeah, pretty much. She's like, all right, bye then. And I said, bye. And then a bunch of people are asking me about it. But that's my experience with the triggered teacher. And uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a like. If you have any idea, like, if this was rational on her part or not, I want to hear your comments below. I want to hear what you guys are saying below in the comments, you know, type it up, type it up down there. Uh, otherwise, subscribe, hit the notification button, and I'll see you back in Wednesday's video. Peace.